understanding? That was my understanding. And in fact, when you said your staff overheard this call between Ambassador Sondland and the President, in that call, the President brings up an investigation, does he oh, not? He did. God damn, and so fucking after boring. The <laughs> President gets off the phone with Sondland. Sitting there watching Sondland the impeachment. By your staff. Oh, the Adam Schiff. Oh, Adam Schiff, is you'll get yours someday. Bidens, am I right? Adam Schiff right now, he's in his glory right now. He's got a heart on under that under that table, right? He's pushing the table up with his hard dick because he's got all the attention, sucking the attention to himself. Uh, take it away from the American people. Don't look at the American people. Don't look at the problems of the economy. Don't look at the problems of the Democrats rigging the primary. Don't look at any of that shit. Just look at Trump, man. Just fucking look at Trump, man. What a waste of time. What a waste of time, this this uh, this impeachment hearing that is live right now on Fox News. Who even cares what they're saying? Because it doesn't matter. We already know the outcome. The Democrats are going to vote to impeach Trump. And uh, the Senate is is not going to uh, uphold it, and uh, he'll, he's not going to he's not going to get kicked out of office. He's going to win the election because these guys are wasting all their time focusing on the wrong stuff, rigging the election, rigging their own primary. So, Mark Conti reporting. Let's look at. Uh, I just want to shut this shut the sound off here. Sound off. Sound off. So. Let's talk about Bernie Sanders. I know if you don't like Bernie Sanders, you know, Bernie Sanders, the last, he's the great white hope. <laughs> he's the only hope, the only hope, hope for this country to get on the right track. He's not a magic man. He's not going to fix everything. He's not going to solve every problem and every, um, you know, everybody's concerns. But certainly he's going to, he's going to focus the country on the right things like money and politics, like universal single payer health care, like decreasing the military industrial complex, getting money out of politics, maybe, maybe, maybe even a Green New Deal. That's all we're really talking about. But for millions of Americans, uh, or the economy, right? Because, hey, listen, if you listen to Trump, right, the economy's never been so good. It's never been so good. You heard? Just turn on Fox and they'll tell you. Over and over again, it's never been so good. But for millions of Americans in the middle of the country, it feels like an economic depression right now. Ah, really? What do you do when you have lost all hope that things will ever turn around? It may feel like the economy is booming for those at the top of the economic food chain in the big coastal cities like New York and San Francisco. (laughs) <laughs> it's not booming. It's not booming. San Francisco has the highest homeless rate in the, in, the, in the country, maybe in the world. I think it's second to L.A. And New York is just, it's just a shithole. It's the same. It's the same. It's not getting better. Yeah, more skyscrapers go up. The stock market rock, rocks up. But people's lives don't improve. The majority of the 90, majority, 99% of people's lives don't improve. They don't improve. They just get, you know, they just... It's just, it's the same. They look at the TV and say, look, oh man, the economy's never been so good. Isn't every, everybody else is doing good and I suck, right? And then you get that situational depression where it's like, oh, I must be doing something wrong. It's a psychological mind fuck is really what it is. Uh, so you're doing fine. It's not your fault. If the economy is, is collapsing around you and, and your, your government is not set up in a way to provide for everyday people, that's not your fault. That's a fault of the system. And it used to be that we can vote our way out of it. We could vote and have uh, uh, integral people come in and change the system on behalf of the people. But that's becoming increasingly hard with the over-cheating and the uh, oligarchy in in full stride. Uh, So uh, for millions of hardworking Americans in the middle of the country, talk of a recession is absolutely ludicrous because it already feels like a severe economic depression is happening right now. In America's heartland, bankruptcies are surging, debt burdens are becoming overwhelming, and suicide rates are spiking to unprecedented levels. We have not seen economic uh, despair this extreme since the last recession, and I'm, I am about to share a story with you that will absolutely break your heart. 
I'm not going to read this story, but you get the point, right? People are suffering, right? They're suffering. Oh, yeah, yeah, they're suffering. In L.A., they're, they're homeless and they're suffering, but look in the middle of the country, too. Uh, so, so on that note, how, how are they going to stop Bernie Sanders from becoming president? One way, Hillary Clinton. Hillary fucking Clinton sticking her ugly, corrupt face out again. Hillary Clinton, many, many people... Many, many, many people pushing run for president. Could you fucking imagine that? Who many people? Why? Your, your, your daughter, your husband, Robbie Mook, John Podesta. That's the many, many, many people. That's four. Well, you got another many. You got, you got four manys. Hillary Clinton says many, many, many people are urging her to enter the 2020 presidential race. There's no other reason to enter for Hillary Clinton than to stop Bernie Sanders. Again, one candidate must get 50% of the vote, the people's vote, to be to, to clinch the nomination. If none of the candidates get the 50%, if all of the uh, candidates take a little piece of the, ele- uh, the electorate, even if it's true or not, we don't even know. The, right? the last time around, all the exit polls were off. There was overcheating. They were closing polling places to make, uh, to, to limit the, the uh, you'd have to drive five miles to go vote. They were shutting polling places down while people were still online, right? Well, they'd, they'd be calling the election and, uh, on TV and people were still online voting. Uh, it was just a total fucking scam. Two million votes in California got thrown in the garbage. That's a big cheat right there. You got to watch California. They did it the last time, man. The Democrats cheated their asses off in California, threw out two million votes, calling them provisional ballots. Hey, you got to watch that. In New York, they um, they they knocked two hundred thousand um, potent, potential voters off the rolls, purged them off the rolls. Right here in Brooklyn, two hundred thousand people didn't get to vote in the primary. And what? How many how many votes did Hillary Clinton win by? <laughs> two hundred thousand. Uh, that's just that's just the that's just the number at the face. We know that Bernie Sanders absolutely fucking destroyed California and won. He absolutely won New York, right? But the the fake news media and the dirty Democrats report Hillary Clinton winning. So it's the same. Uh, that time was a little uh, the 2016. They were very brazen. They were breaking the law right out in the open, right? Now it seems to be like maybe 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 it's. A little bit harder. So what they're doing is, again, they're jamming the field with a lot of contestants that can't win. But they could take a little market share. If Hillary Clinton comes into the election, easy 15%, easy 10%, right? And that, what, does that, what does that do? It creates the Joe Biden, maybe 3 or 4%, 10%. You got Michael Bloomberg that's going to try to buy his way in. Maybe he'll get 8%. Right? And you see, all they got to do, Buddha Judge, is he'll take his, his eight, right? Even, you know, even lesser candidates like Tulsi Gabbard will take three or four. I fucking, Elizabeth Warren's good for 15, 20%. Joe Biden, 15, 20%. You see what happens? Mike Bloomberg, 10%. All those percentages add up to more than 50%, stopping Bernie Sanders. That's the point, right? because all of those candidates. There is no change, with the exception of Tulsi Gabbard. But at this point, she, she's not going to, she can't do it. She can't, she, she doesn't, she's an unknown, unless there's a severe game changer leading into Iowa and New Hampshire, that she turns it around and then on Super Tuesday she wins. That would be, I mean, that would be the miracle of miracles. I, I mean, I would love to see it happen, but do I think it would happen? No, it's not going to happen. But again, if, so that's how this, they're going to stop. So here's Hillary Clinton She's saying, oh, she might jump in. She might possibly jump in. H.A. Goodman might have been right the whole time. Uh, fucking H.A. Goodman's been saying it all along. Hillary, she's running. <laughs> he's got, go on H.A. Goodman's uh, page. And he's got like, I, I don't mean, oh, probably 100 videos saying that exact thing, that Hillary Clinton's running for president. That's just dope, man. So he'll, he'll, he'll look like a rock star. I, I honestly don't think she's going to jump in, but she's, she's threatening it. She's, she's poking in there, and then um, you have enough. I think Bloomberg is definitely going to jump in. All right, so, um, so while all that's going on, right, and, and they're saying that Bernie Sanders can't win, he's a socialist, he's too old, he's got three mansions, 
Right, his wife's a fraud. <laughs> All this shit, man. He's got a heart. He's got his heart's going to explode. While all that's going on, Bernie Sanders has earned the endorsement of the nation's largest union of registered nurses, which will announce their decision at, at a California event on Friday, according to Bloomberg. <laughs> ah, but I thought the medical profession doesn't want universal single-payer health care. I thought they were all against it. No, they fucking want it. See that? The nurses, even the nurses and the doctors, all the healthcare people want universal single-payer health care. They want a system that works for the people. That's what they want, right? And they, and they endorse Bernie Sanders, man. Congratulations, Bernie, man. 150,000-member union uh, cites its support for Medicare for All, veterans' health care, and in, and in boosting the labor uh, movement. The union endorsed Bernie in 2016 Democratic primary bid against the eventual nominee Hillary Clinton, and early endorsements in 2020 race uh, is a win for him amid a crowded field that include fellow progressives like Elizabeth Warren. Uh, so Bernie is Bernie's doing everything. He's got the best ground game, the best ground game of all the Democrats. He's got more money than everybody. He has g- genuine grassroots. All the youth vote, thirty percent of the youth votes, going to go to Bernie. Uh, they're going to cheat him, man. It's such a shame, man. This is the one opportunity people got have in this country, and they don't realize that they're voting against. They're, they're campaigning against, they're lobbying against their own, their own best interests, falling for the trap, falling for the, the, the uh, devastating term socialism, ca- communism. Right? Don't believe it, man. Just go with it. Go, 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 go with your heart. Follow your heart. Follow your own self-interest for, for, for once. Right? What else we got for you? Oh, look. Why did the chicken cross the road? What was I doing here? I don't even know what I was looking at. Uh, let's watch the chickens cross the road. <laughs> What's going on, man? That's a shame. I hope they're not food. I hope they're just chilling out, man, and going for a swim. That looks like Thailand or something. So, um, so oh yeah, let's look at the uh, polls, fake polls. There's more fake polls out. Got Warren, the economist, put one out today. YouGov and the economist put out a fake poll November 13th today, Wednesday, with uh, Elizabeth Warren, 26, Biden, 23, Sanders, uh, 17. But you see how, how again, they can't, if, if Sanders, in the real election, these are rigged polls. These are skewed. These are, are, are calculated corporate uh, moves to convince you that Bernie Sanders is not the leader, is not the winner. It's just bull fucking shit. So yesterday, Politico said Biden 32, Warren 19, Sanders 20. They got Buttigieg at 8. All right. Monmouth in Iowa has uh, Warren 18, Buttigieg 22. What the fuck are you talking about? They're putting Buttigieg out in front of everybody in Iowa. That's such bullshit. That is such bullshit. So fake, uh, fake primaries. Uh, Sanders doing outstanding, Hillary Clinton jumping in, Joe Biden jumping in, uh, Joe Biden's taking a lion's share, uh, uh, Mike Bloomberg jumping in, Elizabeth Warren, oh, no, no, I love Bernie, yeah, but she's competing for Bernie. And all along, we're watching this stupid bullshit impeach Trump. Uh, Democrats are losing. They're, they're, it's just a losing opportunity. In America, you had one chance. You had this... There's one last chance to get universal single-payer health care because if Trump wins again, it's all forgotten. All that progressive shit, it's forgotten. You got to wait for some new rock star to come up. Trump's going to skate through another four years, rape the country. You think they're looting the country now? You think that Trump and his, and his cronies are, are, are enriching themselves now? Watch what happens when he wins. He's got no fucks left to care. He don't give a fuck now, but watch when he wins and he doesn't have to get reelected. Watch all the fucks go out the window. He won't do any more rallies. You know what I mean? He'll just be sitting in the White House enriching himself and promoting one of his kids to run for in 2024. He'll probably, I don't know, I, I think Ivanka would probably be better than one of the juniors because if Trump wins again, you still haven't had a woman president. 
So a a uh, a ripe, you know, seasoned Ivanka Trump, who's really not a politician, but has been around the White House uh, then now eight years, and um, is 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 good looking and young enough, and uh, she could, Trump would definitely you know, spend his enrichment money on, you know, a billion dollars to get Ivanka elected, and then no 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 health care, no universal health care. Because that's not what it's about, right? For Trump and, and Trump's cronies and the billionaires, it's all about enriching themselves. Keep telling the people it's everything is fantastic. If you don't believe us, then you're not a patriot. Oh, you're not a patriot. No, you want, oh, Bernie Sanders, what are you, a communist? Are you a communist? A fucking right? That's what they tell you. Right? So, anyway, so um, those are the, uh, the, the means by which Bernie Sanders will be, be attempted to be stopped and uh, you know, impeachment rages on. It doesn't work well. It doesn't. It doesn't bode well for the Democrats. Republicans are gonna uh, are riding that like a wave. Uh, it's like a big. They've got their surfboard out. They're riding that one right now. Fucking stupid Democrats. Marcus Conte reporting.